Hello everyone and welcome back to another Grain Man Travels Adventure and today we are on the new premium expansion map Zelenka which was released today on the 14th of the 11th 2023. Now usually I would say um, the size of it to download etc. Not 100% certain to answer because the DLC itself on Steam was around 3 gig to download so but also included an awful lot of new equipment and also the new crops etc so uh, yeah don't really know how big this map will be but um, yeah I thought I'd put together a quick map tour of this and also there should be some other content coming in the next few days over the productions and hopefully um, I should be doing some live streaming with uh, another YouTube content creator over the next couple of days maybe so keep an eye out for that so probably most of you are aware that this obviously map is based on uh, Central Europe so there's also the new crops in there as well so these carrots these parsnips and these red beets or as I'm going to call them beetroot in uh, the UK so um, yeah I think what we'll do though do a little bit of a fly around because there's some quite nice features but um, for the the town area etc but generally i think um yeah it's not too bad but i expected probably a little bit more detail in certain areas than i uh than i'm seeing i mean it's quite nice i mean the marshland area is pretty good with the with all the trees etc um i don't know what um central europe's like personally for farming but i just think giants maybe could have put a few more bits of decorative uh, objects and uh and bits and bobs in down some of the farm tracks etc just to just to um, change it up a little bit so i think it's just a little bit um i don't know it, it looks very uniform as well the field shapes as well which i'm a little bit disappointed about but um i am looking forward to probably getting stuck into this and doing maybe either a live stream series or maybe even a let's play series on this map so but i think what we'll do though as always we'll get our feet firmly back down on the ground and we'll have a quick look at our starting equipment and our starting farm. Now we do start with some pretty nice bits of equipment. There's some nice new stuff that comes as part of the premium expansion DLC. So let's run through these. So first off, we've got Giant's version of the Fiat uh, 16090 DT, which has got 160 horsepower and no damage or no, it looks like it's actually brand new. We've also got a really nice Zeta Crystal 16045 with 140, sorry, 150 horsepower. As I was reading the price there. Again, no damage, no uh, age on it, but that looks really nice. I'm looking forward to giving that a bit of a go. We've got the standard Deutz Far Top Line of 4090H um, Harvester that uh, does all the standard crops. We get a really nice Lizard pickup from 1984. This looks to me like a a VW type transport or probably I think it's a type 2 maybe um, pickup from 1984 that's pretty cool I quite like that but they've added that in we get uh, two new types of trailers well they're not new but we do get two trailers we get the class carrot 140 TD and the Welga DK 115 I would probably sell both those trailers immediately because I'm not a fan of either of those for some reason uh, well one's got a dolly so definitely complete another bedroom um, then we get the Deutz Far top line of 4090 head out six meter one again standard one we also get some nice new vegetable technology so that must be a new category in the shop we'll check that in a minute we the wolf p3k profi which is the i think that's the single row uh 0.8 meter harvester for beetroot parsnips and carrots and i think this one needs a trailer and another tractor at the side of it all the time. And we also get the Mini Air Nova Rigid, which is the seeder, or I'm gonna say planter, especially for those three new crops. It's got 16 litre hopper capacity, only needs 50 horsepower, it's three meters. And then this can either go on the uh, ground as normal as it cultivated, or I think this can also then run on top of the ridges that you can create with the Grimmy uh, Ridger. We also get the new a Unia Aries XL disc harrow. These are 150 horsepower and it's got four and a half meter working width. That does look quite nice though. And we've got the standard Nordstein HK25 plus NS3030 power harrow and cedar. Nothing really revolutionary about this one. Three meter width, 125 horsepower and 600 litre capacity. We also get the new Gorink Puller 450 weeder. Now this is just the uh, weeder for the first stage of weed so four and a half meter working width 45 horsepower 
power requirement and seven mile an hour um, working speed. So again, pretty nice and it's nice to see that in there. We get the Deutz Fahr top line, a 4090 trailer. So pretty standard. A 10 Winkle pack, 750, 750 kilogram weight. And then we get something which is quite nice actually. This is like a, a three point linkage either on the front or the back. Uh, pallet moving piece of uh, equipment. So let's see, a WIFO Simply Strong P46B. Um, I'm just going to call that a three point lifter really. Um, I think there's also in the category, there's also the new um, rear attach lifter that, on, uh, that you can put on the back. It's got some ability to elevate up and down so pretty good we don't start with any least items either so that's good now what i will say is we'll run through this farm then we're probably going to run through some of the bits and bobs in the shop and uh, maybe also run through some of the some some of the new bits that have been added as part of the construction menu and things as well so this is your starting farm um, i don't mind it actually i think it's quite nice quite rustic i like some of the texturing and some of the models they've used i must admit um, so you've got obviously a barn here, which is quite nice. We've got a chicken shed here as well. It's not massive, but we'll run through the animals later. It is a uh, open pen one. Um, it's quite a, one thing I will say is we've got some areas here to obviously expand the farm a little bit up here, maybe. So that's quite good. It's not massively flat, but it's pretty good. Um, you do start with some fields as well. Um, the one thing I'm not a fan of, and I think Giants, I think Giants should have changed it personally is, I'm not a big fan of this big American style, um, like just crop bin. I think they could have put maybe um, either a more rustic European looking um, bin or maybe even some kind of a root crop vegetable kind of, um, area as well to store. Just because obviously this, this map is, and this expansion is really heavily a, a, about the new root crops. So I'm not, yeah, it, I'm a little bit disappointed in that. I mean, the models themselves, as always, from Giants are pretty impressive. I mean, this one looks really nice. It's a nice looking uh, model, I must admit. The DeWolf bits of equipment and the new Nova Mini Air looks really nice as well. And then this new disc arrow, that's really nicely done, I must admit. So, um, yeah, some good points and bad points, I think. So we do start with two fields. So we start with this one here, which has got wheat in it. And then we start with this one over here, which is just ready to be uh, sown with some uh, with some new crops it does need lime and over here we do get the new fantastic zeta crystal 16045 i think that looks absolutely awesome especially where you can see all the levels of detail the turbo there before it goes out the exhaust and just the drivetrain underneath yeah really really nice so if i have a quick look we'll go back to the main farm i think what we'll do i'll have a quick look the actual PDA quickly and just show which areas where we start. So we we'll actually start here. So we own 45 farmland and 46. So not too bad. Um, there's lots of areas for expansion. So that's pretty good in my opinion. Um, when it comes to the crop calendar, so it's a pretty it is a pretty standard crop calendar for the main game, apart from obviously these added three added new crops red beet beetroot carrots parsnips so they've got a uh, pretty interesting planting and harvest season so they uh, do seem to take over your spring planting apart from oats and some of your other root or uh, planted crops and bits and bobs so that's pretty good um, when it comes to prices so i've got no other expansions enabled on this map at all um, i do have them but i haven't enabled them on purpose so pretty standard with everything that's on here there's a few new productions though that you're probably aware of so there's a potato production which produces potato chips there's a canning or preserved food factory so you've got preserved food carrots parsnips and beetroot you've then got soup factory so i think triple soup is probably uh, carrots parsnips and beetroot maybe potatoes but we'll have a look We've got carrot soup, parsnip soup, red beet soup, and I'm guessing triple could be all three. That's my guess at the moment. Then you've got potato soup as well. Then obviously you've got your standard red beet, carrots, and parsnips. Um, selling wise, as always, there's at least two or three areas on most of the uh, on most of the productions and most of the um, products that you create. And that looks pretty. So standard ones there with your clothes, your cheese, etc. 
So all pretty good. Um, when it comes to the animals, you start with a shed with an open chicken pasture. It's not a very big one. I will run through that quickly, I think. This is 20 head. Okay, so not massive, but it's a good starting farm. It's a good starting area. Um, contracts wise, yeah, there's a few. There's obviously quite a lot of fields. So um, obviously there's going to be quite, quite a few contracts. I have found a bug already. Um, interestingly, field 44 has got canola in it. And the equipment they're giving us is actually a, a dwarf uh, carrot harvester. So maybe a little bit of a bug there that giants will fix at some point. Not sure. Bit weird. I'm not running any mods with this. So I'm not sure. Maybe that's just a, an ism. But everything else seems okay, apart from that one doesn't come with any kind of rented equipment, but sometimes they don't. Um, field 44, I'm just going to check that quickly. So can we find 44 quickly? Yeah, okay. And it definitely does have canola in, so it's not that problem. Okay, a bit strange, but there you go. You don't start with any production chains as from scratch, but there's quite a few custom production chains on the map you can buy, and also you can put them down, so that's pretty good. Um, that's pretty much it. What I will do though is changing from normal map tools. I am actually going to have a quick look through the um, equipment that we get as part of the expansion. There is going to be a more thorough video at some point about this, but just running through a few bits. Um, nice to see the smash front and rear mower with the butterflies. I think that's really, really good to see. Um, and then obviously you've got quite a few other bits and bobs. Some of the Unia stuff looks really nice as well. Um, especially that cedar there at 55,000. I think that's a really nice cedar. Got some nice farmer kit as well. That could be a nice replacement for some of the other types of direct cedar that you've uh, used. And it's just nice to see sort of a little bit different. So um, from different brands, that's good. There's quite a lot of bed, bed and stuff, but it's quite expensive and needs quite a lot of horsepower. But that's pretty good. And um, Agrio. Um, sprayers as well. That one looks pretty cool actually. The Agrio Gigant 13500. Then we've got the um, ridge tools. So we've got two of those. We've got the 400 which is 3 meter and we've got the 800 which is 6 meter. Then we've got the two different types of mini air nova which can plant your different seeds. Then you've got your dwarf harvesters. All these harvesters do exactly the same three crops but they all obviously need uh, different amounts of money, power requirement, and have different widths, etc. And then finally we have this. Well, we have this new bucket and also the vegetable pallet, but we have this. I'm quite excited about this actually, because um, on a farm I used to work on when I was younger, we did have a similar system to one of these on the back of one of our tractors. It was always very, very fun to drive and to use. So I'm looking forward to using one of them actually. Uh, fun in a sarcastic way we'll put it that way so what will i quickly show as well and this is a little bit different to my other map tools but i just wanted to show off some of the new things that come as part of this expansion so we do get a few new sheds which is quite nice to see so we do get obviously the farm barn the brick shed uh, the other type of brick shed and also this new meridian arch wall so quite nice it's nice to see some ones that are actually built into the map which is quite nice so you can obviously expand your farm and not it doesn't not so it does match with everything else you've got so that's good um don't think there's any new silos there's no, no new silo expansions no new containers no new tools either farmhouses wise there's uh, three new uh, different types of farmhouse quite expensive this one though i think to be honest with you but there we go Productions wise, we have a few added. So obviously we've got a different type of bakery, different type of dairy, potato processing plant, preserved food factory, which creates your soups. You've got also, no, no doesn't that create the, the jarred or tinned or um, preserved um, different types. That's quite big as well. Then we've got the soup factory. Again, that's pretty, zup, zup, zup. That's quite cool, I quite like that name. Then we also have the spinnery. I like that spinnery model, actually. I think that's really nice. I'll give Giants their due on that. It looks really good. Nice uh, brick and concrete construction. Quite industrial. Looks good, I must admit. Selling points-wise, we've got the piano manufacturer. 
Now, I thought that was going to be a type of production, but it doesn't kind of seem it. It seems more like it's a selling point for your wood, so that's quite surprising. Uh, no new greenhouses, orchards or generators. Animals-wise, there's only a few things been added. So there's a new type of pigsty with 25 head, and obviously it's a little bit more rustic and goes in with the, the map itself. Sheep, there's nothing new. Chickens, there's the two new pastures, so obviously the one we've got there, um, and they're both actually 20. So that's slightly different, and that's slightly They're quite small, again, but they do kind of suit, so that's quite good. Bees haven't changed, others haven't changed. Decoration-wise, yeah, there's lots and lots of new fences, loads of new um, different types of fences, and um, lighting as well, to go with the and there's quite a few, it's three there, or one, two, three, four, so I can't count. There's then four different types of buildings as well to go with it. Landscaping wise, painting. I believe there's a few new textures, maybe. That one does look new, the forest ground one. Um, and so does the flagstones, so that's pretty good. Trees. Yep, a few new ones as well, so that's good to see, in my opinion. So we can just, if you want to change the map, plants as well. So that's uh, quite nice to see, so that's pretty good. So what should we do now though, I think, is have a quick look at the PDA in a bit more detail. So um, it's quite a, I wouldn't say it's a big map, but it's quite a good size map. I think it's probably the standard size map for a giant uh, type map. Um, it's lots of different size fields. Um, it's quite square in some places, like these are all very long and square. and. I don't know, I think it's a bit repetitive when they're all behind the houses. And they've all got the same individual track off to get to the fields. Um, not, a, not a massive fan of that personally, but it's nice to see that there's a different arrangement of fields, different shapes, different sizes. Still quite square apart from a few. I think the Giants could have maybe, you know, used a little bit more artistic flair in places. That one's a very strange shape field, 67. Um, but I mean, generally the road network looks pretty good. Lots of tracks around though, I must admit. There is also a train. So there is a train that goes to, I think goes to Erlengrat. Yep, there is. I've spent quite quite a few hundred hours on Erlengrat when I first started playing the game. So that's nice to see, a nice train on there. But I mean, generally though, um, it's quite a lot of open space, quite a lot of marshland, watered areas, forestry, etc. So if you want to do, get some forestry going for the piano factory and the sawmill, you can do. So that's pretty good. Um, I think we've got all our crop types turned on. We have. So that's the PDA. And I think what we'll do, have a quick look at the actual productions and sale points. So what do we have? Carpentry up here. What we'll do, have a quick look around how much they are to buy as well. I think that's a good idea. 60,000. That's not bad. That's pretty good. You got the sell wood trigger there as well. And we've got the preserved food factory. Let's have a look at this model. That was pretty nice, I must admit. I'll give giants that. I don't know, sometimes giants really do a good job on some of their models, but then they just lack a little bit of detail on some other bits. But I mean, like the air conditioning units, all the pipe work, all the ventilation, you've got there the, the fire hydrant. Just look, they look really good. I'm really, you know, and just all the detail on the roof and all the different texturing looks really, really good. But I kind of just wish sometimes they'd put a little bit more flair and detail into some of the into the maps themselves sometimes um, but that's just that's just my opinion I think I'm still quite impressed with what we've got so it's 110,000 for that so it's not too bad and what do we have here what we do uh, is the train to Erlengrat we've got the sawmill here looks very nice again I think this is a custom building actually which is quite nice to see. 120 grand, so not too bad. 120,000 pounds, euros, or dollars. Um, that's not too bad, actually. And then what we've got, we've got the rent train. How much is the rent train? 1,000 pounds an hour, standard. That comes down here. Again, Greenport East, another drop point. Is this another custom building? It is, yeah. It's quite nice. Again, some nice custom texturing there and bits and bobs. Can't buy that though, but looks pretty good. Come down here. What have we got? We've got a train there again. Got the debris crusher. Oh, nice little bit of an industrial area as well. 
that's quite nicely been done. So that's all there. There, back up to the top, coming down. Grain mill, we've been there. Uh, or have we? No, I didn't think we did actually. No, I didn't. That's my fault. Grain mill again, nice custom building there, I must admit. Big area, must be able to take an awful lot of grain, I must admit. Not sure how much grain you'd probably produce off this map because it's not massive fields. The potato processing plant again, nice levels of detail, especially things like that with the fins that are actually moving from the ventilation system. So I think that's really nice. How much is that to buy? 120 again. So again, nice that is, I must admit. Biomass heating plant. I think that's a pretty standard one that we've seen before. The dairy, which we can't purchase actually. We've got some uh, pellet storage there as well. So I think that's another custom building that's part of this expansion. It is, yeah, it's pretty good. Soup factory, the Zup Zup, I think it was, which is pretty good. Again, not too bad levels of detail on this, I must admit. Yeah, zup, zup, zup. 135,000, so again, not too bad. Coming into the more commercial areas. Farmer's market. I think that's a pretty standard farmer's market, isn't it? Yeah, that looks exactly the same as what they used to have before. Electric charging station and gas station. And up here we've got the spinnery, which is the new spinnery model, which I'm really impressed with actually. I think that looks really nice. It's like a very old um, Victorian or Edwardian type of uh, factory that you'd see. I think that's what's really nice. Then go up here a little bit. We've got the piano manufacturer, which I actually thought you can buy it, but it doesn't show as a production. That's interesting, actually. So my previous comment about I thought it'd be a production, it actually is. But on the map, it just shows as a sale point. My supermarket there. The new bakery as well. Actually, just to look at the piano manufacturer again. I think this might be a little bit. So if we buy that, 140. Okay. Supermarket. And then we've got the bakery. Sorry about that. Um, I just wanted to double check that actually. Yep, yeah, bakery. Nice new bakery model, must admit. 50,000, can we go inside? No. That's a shame. Animal dealer. Animal dealer. Preserved food factory, which I think we did before, did we not? No. Um, yes, we did actually. That's pretty good. The carpentry, that's where we started. And I think we're in the middle, aren't we? Just the shop. Our farm. Grain mill. And I think, yeah, we are pretty much done on that. So not too bad. I'm quite surprised um, whether they've got the piano factory logo or actual hood icon on the PDA wrong or not. I think they might have done, but you know, um, giants can fix that. It's not a big problem. So I think what we'll do though, let's swap back. Let's go for a bit of a drive in this lovely lizard pickup. It looks, must admit, I think the model's pretty cool. Any additional options unfold? Ah, oh, see, that's pretty cool. Anything else? No, just a honk. Standard. But yeah, that's pretty good, I quite like that. Let's see how fast we can go. So hopefully, the physics on this are a little bit better than what they are on some of the other pickups. Ooh, I'm not sure they are. My driving's probably not got much better since I've been uh, away from playing farming for the last nearly month. So we'll go into the this area here, into the village. Um, some quite nice models for the houses, etc. So we will have a bit of a turn left, I think. There's lots of areas of, of marshland and, and rivers and bits and bobs as well around, which, I'm, uh, which I quite like, I must admit. Um, breaks up the scenery. That's another road there. Is that a road? don't know actually it might be a road or some kind of uh, slipway and we've got a garage there as well this is pretty quick this is got a little bit of pep this has welcome to Zelenka yeah go out of here I think and we'll probably go down one of these tracks so let's go down some of the tracks in between the farms sorry in between the actual fields themselves 
So, nice bit of spare land there with some trees that you could probably build a farm at. Oh, not doing too bad so far. Not crashed completely, that's for sure. We're getting there, though. Biomass heating plant. Shown before. The texturing on the roads quite nice, I must admit. Um, the roads are quite wide in places. Obviously, the main roads are. These are pretty good because we've got some nice side passings as well. So you get some biggish equipment, especially the big DeWolf harvester. So we are going out. We'll come back. Oh, nearly crashed it. Not far off there, not far off. And then we are left here, I think. Yeah, if we go left, we'll have a quick look. We'll go back onto the main road. Let's make the map a bit bigger. Well, we'll go back onto the main the main drag here that's in the actual main part. So, one thing I am going to do though before the end of this map tour is something that uh, one of my uh, Discord members and also a fellow content creator, uh, PC player Malk, who I do a few videos and potentially some more live streams um, coming up, he mentioned maybe changing this map to see what it looks like in winter. So I'm actually going to do that as part of this map tour and see what everything looks like. Wow, that was some bad driving. Right, let's go up here a minute. Because obviously, it's. I actually thought this map was quite flat, but do you know what? It's not. It's got quite a lot of um, contouring undulation on the fields, which actually does make it a lot nicer. You don't always see that when you fly about, though. So it is good to do a bit of a driving map tour, I must admit. Coming up to the top of the map now. There's some more production. There's some more open space as well, which I'm quite flat as well, which I'm quite happy about. It does mean that we could potentially build our own farm, etc. So if we turn left here, whoa, what's this one? This is another production, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is either the soup factory. I think it's the tin food factory. It's pretty good. I do like this truck though. I think it's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how easy it would be to load pallets on unless you had a telehandler or maybe a uh, proper front loader. But we shall have to see at some point. And we're going off the map, I think. Yeah, that's the boundary. Got some bad driving there. And we will tell you what, let's go back down here a minute. Can we make it across to this? Yes, we can. Oh, bit of, a bit of a lag spike there while it just renders some of the new textures. My apologies. Whoa. Okay, this road is bumpy. That didn't go so well, did it? There's some interesting physics going on again. Oh, looks like another farm that you can purchase, actually. That looks pretty good. So I think what we'll do is we shall just stop up here. Whoa, that was... And um, yes, we shall definitely stop there because I've rolled my truck. And uh, before we do the field prices, let's move the time on a little bit and let's move into a different time. Let's look and look, see what it looks like in winter. Well, that didn't really quite go to plan. Um, it did. It did snow in January and it has snowed a little bit in February, but it hasn't actually settled. So. My plan of trying to show what the map looks like when it snows with some frost doesn't seem to have worked. So I think what we'll do, we will go back to doing our normal, um, see what the field prices are, and we will end it there. So let's have a quick look. So we have, if we wanted to expand into 43, we are looking like 27,000. That's not too bad. Uh, Farmland 47 to 22. So 24. So you could buy another three fields with a starting money. That's pretty good. 44, 39, 35, 47. Okay. Quite a big field. I've got one of these long ones. 61,000, 68,000. So not too bad. 50, 83,000, uh, 147,054. That's got some forestry as well. Look for the, I think that's probably the biggest map field on the map maybe this one okay 93 it's 143,000 it's not too bad forestry areas 179 these smaller ones here 11 31 8 so not too bad I think there was a farm here wasn't they 16 was it that one can we buy that farm or that one maybe 7 
238,000 so quite expensive yeah so not too bad though um, I think the field price is obviously definitely lend to some progression pretty quick and you could probably use some smaller based equipment maybe small to medium so that's pretty good hopefully though even though we have crashed our lovely new transporter truck there hopefully you have enjoyed this map tour if you have give it a like subscribe to the green man channel and i hope to see you again soon many thanks